Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Scorpio for August 2013. So if Scorpio is your sun sign, or Scorpio is your rising sign, then this is for you. If you're interested in a personal reading or seeing more about the products and services that I offer, go to my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com. Also, if you're interested in learning astrology and you resonate with my style of presenting astrology, then definitely contact me because I've been teaching astrology for a long time, and I'm going to be putting together um, really cool online classes that are very interactive and um, other forms of astrology education. So definitely want to connect with you if you're interested in that. So what's up in August? Um, the continued, there's going to be a continued focus on this ninth house energy. Um, I know I talked in the July horoscope about Mars being there, Mercury being retrograde there, Jupiter recently moving into that house to spend a year. Um, the sun has recently left there. All about ideals, philosophies, religion, education, teaching, learning, traveling, mind expansion, whatever the different many ways that that looks, that looks like. But very much prepare to be expanded, to continue to be expanded in similar ways that July has brought um, and in some different ways. Um, there's also going to be great work opportunity. So many, many, many Scorpios are going to have a highlighted 10th um, house, which is your work, career, and life purpose. Some of you, after the very introspective Mercury retrograde cycle, will have a aha moment of, I want to focus on this, of all of the things that I do. Scorpio energy is so cool. Um, <laughs> it's just so deep and so interesting, and um, it's something that I see as challenging for many Scorpios is the depth and the emotional nature can interfere with getting the expression out to an audience. Some of you have done a fantastic job of this, depending on different placements and different timing in your chart. But I definitely see so many Scorpio people um, super talented, beyond just, it's maddening. I don't even know what to do with it. And there, because of so much inward energy, getting that energy out to the marketplace, to the world, to the audiences that need it, can be very challenging. So you have had in July and will continue to have in August, um, and definitely even past that with Jupiter having a year transit through the ninth house, chances to see how the way you are seeing things and thinking about things are affecting or limiting your capacity to bring your art, your work, your craft into the global theme, or scene, rather. But in any case, August is probably going to provide many of you with a highlight on this, some direction of which of the many things that you are good at should you focus on and bring um, out. So there's this simultaneous energy of opportunities with work, so that could mean you could just to have work income, you know, which can help fuel your other creative things, or it could be something very specific to your craft. At the same time, you're having um, Venus circulate through your 11th house. Venus rules love, money, other things, but everyone's very focused on that. So connecting with um, people through the social media is very, very, very critical for this time. Get a website. For the love of God, make a website. <laughs> this is one of the first things that I will tell many of these, um, you know, strong Scorpio energies that if you don't have a website, you need to make one like right now. I have Aries rising, so for me, everything is right now. Just do it. Stop what you're doing right now and do it right now. <laughs> and August is a really good time for that because the Mercury retrograde cycle has cleared. August and September are two. It's the it's a window of personal, all the personal planets being direct. That's going to be rare for the upcoming time because starting in October through like into July of next year, 2014, there's going to be one or another personal planet retrograde or a shadow period of that. August and September are your time to finally get your interface with the world set up. Figure out a domain name, even if it's multiple ones. Just figure it out. Make a decision. You can always change your mind. Get a website together, even if it's rudimentary, even if it doesn't um, match all of the meticulousness of all of the details that you put in things. Get it up as an interface and get some sort of cart on there. Get PayPal, something where people can start to buy 
your work or interface with your work. If you're an artist, you need to have a photo gallery. Um, if you do landscape design, you need to have before and after pictures. If you make hot sauce, you need to have all about the hot sauce, the ingredients, and places where they can be sampled. And all of this has to be done in the social media, also through groups and or organizations or teams. It's a very team-oriented time. A lot of the Scorpios I know are very much into pairing with one person for a project and not groups. And if that's the case, that's fine. You don't have to pair with a group if you don't want to, but you do have to connect with the global community through um, any of these different means. Um, so August is really awesome for that. Once you do it, then you're going to start to be able to have lines come in for all of your work to come out. So the T-square um, that's going to happen throughout August can be um, a challenging point, um, and everyone's going to be experiencing this. There are going to, unfortunately, um, there's going to be an increase in um, natural events, which will just hold the vision that energies mitigate them so that they can be as minimal as possible, but it's the energy of massive internal change. So of course the earth is going to experience that. Of course we each are going to experience that. We, I don't like to look at astrology as good or bad. Is this going to be a good month or a bad month? I know that many people look to horoscopes to say, is this going to be a crappy month or is this going to be an awesome month? Just tell me what's going to happen so I know. I feel like there's always lemonade that can be made out of lemons. I do feel like a T-square is definitely um, a stack of lemons. But make the lemonade. You have every opportunity to do it. It's a point of, of conflict, of stress, of tension that you can use to turn it around. The way I think of this is like if there were a superhero throwing energy at someone, then you take the energy, catch it, and redirect it back at the person. Well, I don't want to say to put it at the person because I'm not advocating that we're attacking people, whatever, but you know what I'm saying. Where you take that energy and go through the tension of forcing it the other way. And by that, you blow a hole in the obstacles that were blocking you. This is a very awesome opportunity to blaze through challenges. A lot of challenges are going to come up under the topic of communication, of your ideology, and possibly health as well and or how you use your energy, efficiency, routine, or your day-to-day -day work, etc. Um, so an example of this might be if there are Scorpios that are doing some work, maybe that is physically laborious, um, it could be that they are, their body is, is sick of it and they really want to do their art craft more, but they've had these blocks to getting the website up. So, so now here's the conflict between the communication with the world, the ideology of the things that you want, but not able to somehow switch um, your mental uh, process to just get through the barrier. Now you have your body telling you there's only so much more time that you want to be doing these physical um, labors, and so you have this point of conflict. How exciting! You know, what are you going to do with that? So, anyway, hopefully, you'll do something fabulous with it. If you need some help doing something fabulous with it, definitely my department to make lemonade. Superb lemonade maker. I help people change the energy of their personal chart, their natal chart, their transit chart into the most sweet, wonderful lemonade ever. That's my department. So if you're interested in a personal reading, definitely contact me, Annie, at AnnieHelpsYou.com or go to my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com. There's a link below here. Check out the um, other ways that I can help you through books and subliminal audios, etc. If you're interested in learning astrology and you resonate with my style of teaching, then definitely contact me because... Um, it's going to be really fun, and let's do this. So I hope you have a fabulous August.